Today we're taking a look at the Arco Shave Stick, or at least what's left of it. Now the Arco Shave Stick is nothing new. It's been around for years and years and years, and it definitely isn't anything new to the shaving community. And that's why I decided I better pick me up one of these to let you guys know my thoughts on it. Now when you get the Arco Shave Stick, it's gonna look kinda like this, but it's about that big. The Arco Shave Stick is sent in a two and a half actually just over ounce bar or stick and it's wrapped in a what I can only say is like a gum wrapper material with a paper that is connected to that which is the red with all of their information and their name and their logo and all that on it. The scent of the Arco Shave Bar as well it smells like soap to me but many compare it to like an ivory bar or even a Irish spring. So it does definitely have a little bit of a chemical scent to it, which you get used to very quickly and it just smells like soap. Now for the ingredients, just like a lot of the soaps that I've reviewed in the past, I don't know how to say most of them. So as you can see right up here, I have posted them up for you guys to read. And if you want to, you can go ahead and pause the video to read those right now. Now to use the Arco Shave Bar, it is fairly simple. Once you get it, you just start at the top, kind of unwrap it, and then you can slowly kind of rip it and unravel it off of the bar of soap itself. I would suggest the first time that you're going to do it, go ahead and go as far down as you need to, just so that you have enough to hang on to, because after a couple times of using it, the wrapper does tend to kind of want to be a little bit more complicated to get off. But since you have that now and you just got it out of the shower or you have wetted your face, you can just take the bar and rub it right on your face and shave with it like that. However, if you're looking for that lather like they get in barber shops or basically like you get it with any other regular shave soap, you can go ahead and take a brush to it right on your face and look at this guys look at how well this just lathers right up it's almost like magic because you don't really see much soap on there till you take the brush to it now the cool thing about the arco shave stick is that there's several ways to apply it you can do the two ways that i just suggested or you can go ahead and break off a big chunk of this soap and you can kind of stuff it down into your favorite shave bowl. Now it may seem a bit hard to break it off of there at first, warm it up in your hands, you know, put it in the shower with you so that it gets nice and warm. And because it is tallow based, you should be able to just kind of break off a chunk of it and put it into your favorite shave bowl. Now really shove it down in there, work it down into the shave bowl and it will get stuck down there. Then you can go ahead and use it like you would any other shave soap by lathering it up in the bowl, then applying it to your face to shave. Now my experience using the Arco Shave Stick was, well, it was honestly a fun one. I love the fact that I could just get out of the shower, apply it, and <laughs> use the brush right away to make that lather. And it really, it just kind of like a magic trick every time I got out of the shower. So I really liked that aspect of it. I also like the aspect of that if I was in a hurry or I just really didn't feel like going with a lather, I could just easily put it on my face directly from the bar and start shaving like that. It was very simple no problems. There wasn't a huge difference between shaveability with lathering versus without. Now the scent of the Arco Shave Stick is a rather strong one just to let you know. It's not overpowering and you get used to it fairly quickly and I never found that it bothered my head or bothered my nose any and it really is a decent scent I think. I know a lot of people will disagree with that, but I actually don't mind the scent of the Arco Shave Stick. I found that no matter the application to my skin, it gave a nice slick shave and it allowed that blade to get really nice and close to my skin as well. I also found that the skin itself after shaving with this was very nice and soft. Now, as I mentioned in the how to apply this section of this video, you definitely want to go at least 
two thirds the way down of the stick just to leave enough for your fingers because I found that when I only went like one third because I was like, you know, I can always, you know, unwrap it some more once it gets there. I found that it really kind of starts to break down once you get it wet a couple of times and you end up with this paper film here that is kind of a pain to get off of there because it doesn't really come off in like one piece. It wants to just kind of come off in little chunks like that. So I do suggest bringing it down as far as you need to just so you have enough to grab onto. Now definitely make sure you leave a little bit on there so that at least you're not dropping it everywhere because it does get awfully slick. Now because this is a tallow based, it is non-vegan friendly. So if you're a vegan, I would suggest skipping over this one because it's just not gonna be for you. Now do I think that it's worth your money? Well, honestly, I really do. I think that it's well worth the whopping $4 that you're gonna need to spend for a stick of this. It does a great job of getting that slick shave. It's got a fairly decent scent, I think, anyway. And so, yeah, I would have to say it is well worth that $4. So, of course, if you want to pick yourself up an Arco stick or five of them, because they do sell them in five sticks and you get a better price that way, check out the link down below. If you like this video and you want to see other shaving products like this one that I've reviewed in the past, make sure to check out this link up here. Down below that's going to be a video that you're probably going to enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.